How's it going, everyone? My name is Alex, and we're back with the Crafting Dead. This is episode three. I just want to say thank you so much for all the support everyone's left on the first episode and second episode. As I did promise in the last episode, I would announce the giveaway winner for 25,000 in game currency. And the winner is Orange Slice. So I will contact you, or one of the staff will contact you uh, to give you the 25,000 on whichever server you select on the Crafting Dead Discord. Just talk to them there. I'll try to message you privately. So congratulations to our winner. And and I will also mention that in the future there will be more giveaways, so don't be disappointed in that. We have a lot of cool things coming with the Craft and Dead. And today I have a special guest with me. Uh, Jazzer is going to be helping us out. And he's been helping me out a lot with the Craft and Dead. So welcome, Jazzer. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> so today we have some cool <laughs> things planned out. Uh, don't forget to go ahead and hit the like button. Let's go ahead and see if we can reach 100 likes. If you haven't already, subscribe. And I do appreciate it. Let me know in the comment sections if you have any challenges or things you wish for me to try in the Craft and Dead. We're on top of the tower, and you can see our base in the background. Uh, we're actually going to go and start off working on our base. We do have some friendlies with us, um, but I don't know if they disappeared. Yeah, I think they... Um... I think they might have just walked off. Oh, no, they're Oh, right no, there. there they are. So, these are yeah. some friendlies. <laughs> Although he's holding a knife, trust me, he's not going to attack. <laughs> he's crouching, so we're fine. Oh, wait, he's giving me tactical ghillie clothing. Wait, you want me to have this? I want... No, okay, I'm getting distracted, but I'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> and then there's... Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Okay, dude, thank you. All right, so let's go back onto our way uh, to our base. Now, we do have a few more supplies in our chest. I think Jazzer helped out with getting some more loot for that. And we're going to try to complete some of this base. We're not going to be able to finish it fully because, as you guys know, it's it's expensive to do. I, last time, I think I mentioned you needed, like, 25000 uh, roughly to, to build a base. Just that was the amount of the giveaway. But I, there's definitely you need a lot more than just 25000 So that's, that's, that's a fact. Well, I think we can start off with uh, building out the front a little bit since... There's going to be some new things coming out. We're going to want to fortify the middle block because if that gets destroyed, everything else gets destroyed. And this is why I have Jazzer with us today. He's going to be, yeah. he's like, he, he knows how to build a safer base, if that makes any sense. So yeah, let's go inside. I forgot. Can you open the door? Uh, yeah, I, th I think I you did actually. Sure. Yep. Okay, Perfect. Cool. Perfect. Excellent. So as you can see, we do have a lot more stone and we do have some blueprints. One way to break the wall is if you have a pickaxe, and I do have a pickaxe in one of these bags. Uh, it's a mining pickaxe. Boom. All right. So we got those. Let's go ahead. Oh. Okay. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and start adding these walls. So you said I have to make them? Uh, no, I can make them and then I'll just get you to place them down. Okay, cool. Yeah, so if you guys don't know, Jazzer is not allowed to technically place any blocks around. I think there is an update coming with factions. I, I mentioned it in the first episode. That's still being worked on. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, right? Something oh, yeah, around no, that. It is being worked on. Uh, okay, no cool. ETA on the time, though. Got it. Okay, I'll take out some of these zombies. And what we're going to do after we're done working on the base, we're going to go ahead and check out one of this, like, one of the... Oh, jeez, is that you? Oh, uh, yeah, no, that was me. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, that was loud, so I was worried. Okay, so we have our blueprints here. <laughs> <laughs> make take them safely it feels like i'm walking into a trap collecting them oh, oh god we got a horde come in oh yeah 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 all right so uh, i actually put something in your chest that may be able to help us with this what was that oh it was a lot of a lot of shooting sorry <laughs> um, yeah. i gave you a <laughs> mini gun oh, oh my dude i completely forgot about you walked out of the door with the biggest possible gun <laughs> I can just spray down the hordes that come near us. See, this is why we have a team over here. Okay, this is fantastic. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, I assume. Yes. Okay, cool. So we're fortifying the entrance, and eventually I think we can knock it down, right? Just kind of, I don't know. You ha you're the architect of this one, I'd say. Yeah, we'll, we'll just build a basic box. So kind of continue your wall around here. I'll keep building you some blueprints here. Sweet. And I know a lot of you have left a lot of comments as well. Uh, just kind of say, you know, thank you for coming back to the Craft and Dead. And what I do want to say is I appreciate everyone's support. I know I mentioned it in the beginning, but I, I do mean it a lot. Like a lot of you guys in the Craft and Dead community have been just being really tremendous with support. And I did read a few comments. Uh, should I keep going more further out? Uh, yeah. Oh, no, wait, I, think I can't. Can go until There's a limit. Oh, can you not go out? Yeah, I can't go out anymore. Oh, uh, that's okay. Um, I'm sure we can kind of make a few edits right here where you can have a bit more space for chests and stuff but yeah we'll be able to fix that 
for sure. I guess okay. you can build on the in the front here now, and right then here? we'll help yeah. you and make you a door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Um, and then there was a few people talking about the role play. They're excited about the role play. So that is officially going to be happening. It's going to take a few like to prepare for that, but that's going to be happening. It's a five episode role play. So I'm looking forward to that as well. And on top of which a lot of you were talking about, uh, different servers and trying them out. And I am looking forward to doing that as well. So just stay tuned for it. All right. That's looking a lot Beautiful. better. So we have a lot more space and it's safe too. So we don't have to worry about it. Beautiful. All, All right. Like so right. you think you're going to need some storage? It looks like um, these this one chest fills up quite quickly, so we could... We're going to need storage, that's for sure. Definitely. Okay. Right, so we're going to want to search for more, some more uh, blueprints. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just see with the minigun. It's funny. All right, so like I said, we're going to go to the airfield shortly. Uh, we do have a few more things. I just want to hold this for a second. This is crazy. This thing is insane. Just look at that. Dude. Yeah. I kind of like, kind of want to test this out quickly. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you look intense. Watch oh. out. Don't get in the way. Oh, you hit me a little bit. <laughs> Did I really? <laughs> yeah. Dude, this thing is insane. Okay, we're done messing around with that. <laughs> so I am bleeding out. I think there's somewhere to make a rag. I got you. There you go. You can uh, med pack your own teammates. So you just right click someone who's bleeding, and it'll just it'll just heal you. Yeah. There you go. Let's just go across the bridge. I think that'll yeah. be a good, safe bet. So okay. All right. So I I heard from uh this is one of the older air bases, right? Am I am I mistaken? Yeah, this is one from the uh, old Atlanta. Just one of the first buildings. So it's gonna be pretty cool seeing that. I see there's another base. This was not here before. Oh no, the one across. You know whose base that is? I actually made an ally. For those who do not know, in the last episode we met Snelly, and uh, Snelly, this is actually his base down there. So he's a friendly, which is kind of cool. Uh, he's gonna be like an ally for us, which is nice. So we have him across the water. I just don't know whose base this is. It's a pretty big base. I've never seen anyone go into it, so. Yeah, maybe we're fine. They could be gone. They could Probably. be gone. There's a big zombie horde on the left. Yeah, the spawn rate on here is crazy. Yeah, no, it's it's so. it's intensified. That's for sure. Oh, there's a guy. Is that guy? No, that's barbed wire. <laughs> <laughs> um, I yeah, thought there's a guy else. working on his base. All right, so we're hitting the air air base right now. I want to check out if there's anyone nearby. So we'll do slash near. And I know a lot of you were saying you can do slash near 100 or slash near uh, 1,000, up to 1,000, right? Uh, you can do as much as you want, but it's recommended that you do 1,000. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Good All right, cool. So you know how we've been getting infected a lot? I think hitting up the hospital is a move too to see if we catch some RBIs. Ooh, all right, I've got some loot crates here. Looks like someone was here a couple minutes ago, so. Yeah, there is, so far I did slash near 100, it's just you. So I think we're in luck. I think we're just good. Just got to be careful. All right. I'm going to loot the downstairs. Yeah, someone's definitely looted this place out. Not really getting any cure stuff. Yeah. Oh, nothing. just got one right here. Oh, sweet. All right. I already have one, so keep that for yourself just in case we run into cool. any issues. I'm just going to check behind the counters. Oh, another bottled RBI cure. Sweet. I actually think I might have a syringe. I, I do I'm have right. a lot of empty syringes, uh, insane amount. Because every time I need an RBI more. cure, yeah, I just end up getting empty syringes all the time. It's a good time. Um, all right. Whoa, dude, I, check this out. Are you in the front? Yeah, I see you. Yeah, I'm, I'm at the front. Dude, someone placed on a C4. Really? Imagine we walked into a trap just now. Oh, no, dude. I mean, pick it up. I mean, we could save this. Actually, let me see it. Yeah, let me carry that. Yeah, here, here, here. <laughs> I'm the last person you want carrying C4, but we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let's go. I want to check out this bunker right here. It has one of the aircrafts. Pretty sure there's loot around here, too. Yeah, there is. Flame. Th okay, that's cool. Oh, there's a zombie here. All right, let's take him out. Oh, those flamethrowers? I do have... Yeah. What was that? Uh, those also help with uh, zombie hordes as well. Yeah. It's kind of funny. I, 
I remember the first time the uh, the flamethrower came out. I was I was testing it out, and that thing is really helpful. Uh, for those who didn't know, which I kind of found out too today earlier on. Oh, dude, jeez, did you use a flamethrower? Uh, no, just a f uh, fire grenade. Oh, cool. Uh, but the backpack, if you have it on, you actually drain out a lot of your. Uh, you kind of get thirsty faster. That's what I'm trying to say. So you just kind of have to be careful about that. Anything here? You can, you nope. want the water bottle? Oh no, dude! I got a, I got water going. Ooh, watermelon. Snag that real quick. Watermelon is actually one of the best foods in the game. It really is. I'm not gonna lie. It saved me. For those who remember or don't remember, uh, a while back when I was doing the survival let's play of the Craft of Dead, uh, literally a watermelon saved my life. I'm not even lying. It's a fact. Okay, wow. there's a, that's a huge horde over there. Yeah, we might wanna go to the other bunkers here. Yeah, let's check it out. I'll check out the middle one. You know what they should add? Flashlights. That'd be cool. Flashlights would be a cool addition. I think it'd be pretty sick. Let's see. Anything here? Okay, this has been looted out for sure. Or even like um, a, a flash attachment on your gun. Yeah, that'd be cool. I think at all the developers that are watching this, just a heads up. These are some cool ideas. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. All right. Uh... I'm looted out here. Let's check out We're this good. one last house. I'll move you to this one. All right. Some military loot. Oh, an M1 Grand. Dude, this is like an old gun. This is one of the oldest guns, I think, in the Craft and Dead, right? The M1 Grand? I would say yes. Yeah, definitely. Uh, didn't you say you had a foul? Uh, yeah, I did. All right. Oh, dude, this chest had loot inside. Wait, what? Check this out. Come inside the... Other house. There you are. I see you. There, this chest actually had some loot inside, which we got kind of lucky. I mean, most of it is empty, but they have a C4 detonator, which is what we needed. We needed that. There's some ammo. RBI syringe. Someone must have left this here. That's what it looks like. I'm just going to take it, and we can always um, drop it off and store it at, at our house, at the base. For sure. Yeah, that M107 had six bullets in it, dude. Which, yeah, it did. Which is pretty nice. And then it's a crossbow. We can always, by the way, if you do end up finding any guns or loot or random things that you're never going to use, take them and sell them. That's a big thing I recommend if you want to make some money. Yeah, I think I'm good on loot and stuff, so we're good yep. to move out. Yeah, let's move out. Oh, right, scuba so, mask. Scuba mask. If only, wait, are they actually useful? Can you go in the water and does it help you? Yeah, they'll, they'll, uh, you can uh, breathe under, underwater and uh, you can swim faster. <laughs> what the? cool you All just right. need the scuba clothing as well yeah that's true oh this camp yeah this is also really old as well all right i'm just getting it i'm just a little behind i'm heading over now this is one of the old uh there you are i see you oh there you are. yeah i see you there uh this is like a zombie horde on the left hand side yeah i see that there oh uh, yeah this is an old base oh there's old a dead body body right there yeah all right watch out uh scope this place out any loot? Uh, no, it's not. Yeah, okay. any loot. I could have. Really sure. mm -hmm. hmm? I was thinking he could have got attacked by that probably that zombie horde on the, the left Probably. hand side. What's going on here? It's looted out. Is it me or is it? Looted yeah, I'm out? not really sure what's here for loot. I've never really gone here too much. Yeah, it looks like it was scouted out. Oh wait, there is a. No, oh, nothing there. Oh, watch out. Oh, cool. Getting hit there. Cool. Yeah, this place is getting overrun. We should head out. Yeah. We should... Actually, in the upcoming episodes, once that update comes out um, and we can use C4, I think our goal is to make one of the biggest C4 explosions or the biggest base raid that we could possibly come up with. That would be pretty sick. I do know a couple bases that we could raid. Okay, and they're cool. huge, like big reinforced stone bases with tons of loot in them. I right, just gotta keep it a secret though, because <laughs> yeah, if they're go. watching, oh, oh, then, oh yeah. yeah, no, we, I guess we have to keep it a secret. Yeah, we do. We won't say any. We won't say any names, but I do <laughs> know some people. <laughs> oh, hold on. Here, I'll take a look in here. Oh, yeah. Ouch. Is that, dude? That looks like a sick base. Can we just scope that base out? It's... Where at? It's uh further it's uh further straight. Like I think it's headed north. I wish there was a way to have like directions like north, west, south. There isn't really like compass for that. 
Um, well, I think if you use F3A, I mean... Oh, yeah, that too. Dude, this is a pretty cool-looking base. Oh. I like this. This looks new. This looks very new. Yeah, this is extremely new. Are you infected? Yeah, it was just a zombie hit me in the house back there. Uh, I got shoot. a cure right here. Oh, Dude. there's a bunch of zombies coming in. Yeah, we're attracting a lot of them. This base looks really sick, though. I feel like it has a lot of loot. Oh, yeah, it definitely does. Probably, yeah. It's probably packed. Hopefully, this person is not watching the video, but this could be a great raid. But there's a lot of zombies. Look at that. Holy. All right, yeah, yeah, we got bounce. Move. Behind us, watch out. All right, so we're going to go uh, head down towards that tree line over there and probably get to safety and then end off today's episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, definitely go ahead and let me know in the comment sections. Um, I think you guys got to see a little bit. Today we did more like a, I think it was like just looting out and exploring. I know a lot of you would like watching that because you can always run into some crazy things. Today wasn't as crazy, but the fact that we got a pretty decent amount of loot, I think it's helped us out a lot. I think I'm going to try to sell some of the guns we got today as well. Good idea. And then we're definitely going to do a huge base upgrade in the next few episodes. Going to try to keep racking up some money and then uh, see if Jazzer can still help us out with building probably one of the strongest bases, if not most fortified, if we can do that. No pressure. Well, we're going to need it, man. We're going to need it, definitely. No, we definitely are. All right. So, uh, yeah, we're going to end off today's episode. Here we go. Cool. Yeah. Finally, yeah, I've got away from all those zombies, man. Yeah, that was, that was a, oh, there's a runner. Oh, I got him. There we go. Cool. All right. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, don't forget to go ahead. Let me know in the comment sections if you have any challenges that you would like me to try. I know I used to do challenges in the past, but I'm definitely looking forward to try a few as well. Bring back that type of uh, gameplay because I know you guys enjoy that. We'll do some role-playing things. And if you guys want to see some more guests as well, like Jazzer, we have a runner behind us again. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> One shot. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Damn, nice. And also go ahead and check out the description down below. There's discords. You guys can go ahead and follow the Craft and Dead Discord and my Discord. And just stay tuned. I said Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays, 5 p.m. Eastern time. There's always going to be a Craft and Dead episode on the channel, on top of which other series coming as well. Jazzer, thank you again today for helping us through the uh through the looting session today. I think that was awesome. I think we survived. There was a lot of zombies. I'm not going to lie. There were some areas I was a little bit skeptical about, but we managed to pull through. Sure, man. Yeah, no worries. I'm happy to help. All right. So there you go, guys. That's the end of the episode. See you guys next time. My name is Alex, and peace out, and stay foxy.